Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to calculate the C-score using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the vector object that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that we have created a new vector object which is called X and we can print this vector object to the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code and then you can see at the bottom that we have created a new vector object containing a sequence of random numeric values. Now if we want to convert our input vector to the C-scores then we can specify the formula of the C-score manually as you can see in line 5 of the code and in this line of code I'm using the mean function and the SD function to calculate our standardized values. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see that a new vector object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called xstand1 and we can print the output that is stored in this new vector object by running line 6 of the code and then you can see at the bottom that we have created a new vector which is containing the standardized values of our input vector. However, you have also seen in this first example that it is relatively complicated to specify the formula of the C-score manually. And for that reason, the R programming language provides a function which is called scale that allows you to standardize your data just based on this function. And we can apply the scale function as you can see in line 8 of the code. And within the scale function we simply need to specify the name of our input vector and then we can store the output of the scale function in a new data object which is called xstand2a. So if you run line 8 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that we have created a new data object which is called xstand2a and we can print this data object by running line 9 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have returned a matrix which is consisting of exactly the same values as our previous output. However, you can also see that the format of our output of the scale function is not really pretty. And for that reason, I recommend to add line 11 to the scale function. So in this line of code, I'm using the snumeric function and I'm applying this function to the output of the scale function. And this basically removes this output at the bottom and it converts our matrix object to a numeric vector. So if you run line 11 of the code you can see that another vector object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called xstand2b and we can print this output to the RStudio console by running line 12 of the code and then you can see that we have created exactly the same vector as in the first example in line 5 of the code However, this time we have used the scale and as numeric functions. So in this video I have explained how to standardize our data using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this tutorial in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.